we got all the weird noises out. Here we go. What's up, framers? Thanks for tuning into the vlog today. If you can see from the title, we are looking at our epic Christmas journey i know it's february but listen my editing backlog is a little ridiculous i'm trying to get better all right there's a lot going on in christmas wow with us what am i trying to say poop trying to say christmas is the most wonderful time it, it is the, the most year. wonderful time christmas is a big deal for us not just because we're christians and we celebrate jesus but also because we are big into family and because our family kind of is all over the place, like we live in different states and stuff, we kind of do multiple Christmases. Uh, so the first one you're gonna see is the kiddos and Jazz and I spending some quality time with my mom who lives in Atlanta uh, for like Christmas part one. All right, so here's that. Let's go. Alright, and then from there, we flew to Virginia to be with some more of our family, probably most of our family, uh, and that's a big shindig there. So, here we go. It's 
chilly. It's getting. I hate doing these. This is weird, awkward at first. Good morning. It is the next day. Sorry to scream in your ear. Um, so it's Christmas. It's like legit Christmas, and Christmas is cool. Um, it's a long day, but it's a good day. So we like start at Grandma's house because we got like different core families all together coming together for one Christmas shindig. So everybody kind of like does their own thing, and then we all come together, and it's a big thing. And just, just watch. It's it's a lot. I'm tired. Whatever. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Thank you. We give you praise, honor, and glory for this day. Father, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. And Father, we can rejoice because you gave your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we can't say thank you enough for all that you've done carrying us through this life. So Father, we bless your name. Father, bless this food that will be nourishment to our body. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Yes. Yep, definitely gaining weight. That was oh so good. Freaking lots of food, great food. Thank you. Kyle fell out. I don't know. I fell out. RJ fell out. Part of that was us staying up till 3 a.m. last night. Talking. That was main part. But Christmas Day marathon continues. Part three, we're going back to grandma's house to eat more food, <laughs> open more presents. Why we eat dinner so early? Mm -hmm. Dinner like four o'clock, <laughs> four in the afternoon. So we got dessert for dinner later. Yeah. Man, about eight o'clock got dessert. But my energy, I'm gonna pick my energy up in a minute. I'm gonna get some coffee or something. But here we go. I was nursing him and he had a blood and it was like on my shirt, it was on my pants and I had these light colored pants on. I had to go to Walmart. I had to tell my boss and I was like, I'm going to be a little late coming back. I had to go to Walmart and get some clothes yeah. and change clothes. Remember that time in, at, uh, what's it called? At the movies? Oh yeah. Where he pooped in the movies? We were yeah. watching Black Panther and we took him to the movies. He had all of his back to his neck. <laughs> like literally, no, no joke. <laughs> it, was, it was all the way to his collar. Oh, I was like, <laughs> All right, so this next part, I was gonna leave a lot of it out and just kind of do a, a highlight, but I think this is a really important part of the vlog. Um, we did something different this year that we normally don't do. We kind of changed the way we exchanged gifts, uh, where like everybody like drew a name and they had to like buy something for that person, but then also spend the rest of the year like praying for that person. Um, and then when we all came together for Christmas, we would share the person's name that we drew and you know what we prayed for them for over the year. Uh, and I think this was a really special moment, man. I just love seeing our family members affirm one another. So watch this clip and just, yeah, you'll see. 
they're also their future family and that basically God blesses them with everything that they want, desire, and much more than they can ever imagine. And the person I got was Whitney. We win! Future family! I pray for Whitney to have um, continuance of peace and guidance and um, that they were satisfied, not in a content way, but satisfied in where they are in life. And where their, um, I guess, presence is needed the most. And I have Neva! person that I had that I prayed for um, will just have a good rest of the year and possibly have an early retirement um, and get a pickup truck for Christmas, but he didn't get that. It was my dad. Yeah. 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 I prayed for that too, but I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I pray for everybody in here, but... The person I pray for is uh, that she really prays for me every day, I know too, because she knows my situation, that things I want to do, but uh, that she will be blessed through the years. And I pray for her family. I pray for her joyfulness and being joy to me when I see her all the time. And that's Kim. <laughs> And she know I want to retire. That's why she yes. for me. <laughs> Thank you. So the person that I was, um, my prayer for that person was to continue to lead his family. I can't breathe. <laughs> continue to lead his family and consistently follow Christ. And I had Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we were shopping for the Amazon gift card. We picked up my own gift card. <laughs> and he paid for it. Hey, you're right. All right, the person I had, uh, my prayer has always been and always is and shall be for peace. Joy and clarity of what God wants for them. Um, and my person is Sissy. You got something to give up? My person that I prayed for was um, I prayed that God would take them. To a new level in their walk with Him, a new insight and peace and unity and joy, and to be able to discern a greater discernment um, for God's voice. And welcome to the family, Samantha. <laughs> My person. Um, <laughs> Praying for uh, guidance and support, um, raising their family, and continuing to trust that God's got their back through all of that and all of the new life experiences, and a safe pregnancy. Oh I'm praying that. Um, as she pursues her purpose in life, that she never loses focus on God, and that she will find that purpose in life eventually, and have much success in her future, and that person is person I prayed for a future family hopefully like next year um, and I pray that they would um, continue to follow their faith in Christ and that they would just have like a happy life and my person is kidding to one <laughs> Pray that. Pray for 
for their guidance and direction as well. Um, and I also pray that in the industry that they are in, or that they like to do, that they find fulfillment um, in what they're doing and what God has called them, or has, or the avenue that He's given them to to reach um, other people that they feel fulfill, fulfillment in what and what they're doing and how many people they're 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 touching, even though it's not. It may not be on the biggest scale. Um, and my person was Terrence. My man! Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> um, just continue to guide them as they go about their journey. Um, I know their path hasn't been the easiest. Um, like with everything that they're trying to do in life, and I just ask that they, well, I just pray that they continue to pursue God, continue to pursue the things they enjoy continue to pursue the things that God has called them to do, which is touch lives and to touch other people in their circle and even people outside their circle. I just pray each and every day that um, all your hopes and dreams and everything that you're pursuing just comes true. And um, one day you'll have your, your organization, your foundation, which is Restore Royalty and this Jasmine. All right. <laughs> I um, had the privilege of praying for one of my best friends as well, who's also a sibling. Um, I just pray. <laughs> I just pray. Um, I pray um, for God's clarity and direction for your peace for your future marriage, your future family, your career, everything. There's a million things. We talk all the time. We pray together all the time. And I know that God's hand is on your life and great things are in store for you. So, I love you. I pray for, uh, or I still pray for your success in your future and um, all your hopes and dreams that they come true and that, um, that you are patient in the waiting process and you trust God's hand. Something that I'm learning now is that it doesn't matter how long you've known your family members, it doesn't matter if you get to see each other often, I think there's something really important about not just knowing that you love one another, but actually speaking love and speaking positivity uh, into one another's lives and praying for one another. Hey, what's up guys? It's the next morning, the next day. And believe it or not, <laughs> just like in the last vlog, we're going bowling. That seems to be the thing that you do, RJ. <laughs> seems to be the thing you do when you're on holiday with your family. Eat a lot of food, open up a lot of, I'm not even talking to you guys. Eat a lot of food. I keep looking away. <laughs> eat, a lot, eat a lot of food, play lots of games, and go bowling. So. Here we go. Falling for the curves, I was fouled to the changer With no 